James Lee is not Charles Choi. Yo what's up guys it's Saint back with another Lookism video and today we're going to review chapter 480 of Lookism. So without any time uh, being wasted let's just jump into the video. So the chapter opens up with Gu Kim's offer to Gun Park to join him but is rejected. Gun is still in a heartwarming fashion talking to Gu about how he only drank because Gu came. It shows the connection between Gun and Gu and even though they are just rivals and now they're enemies, they'll still have lots of respect for each other. I really enjoyed this moment here because it shows the bromance between these two characters. And even if they're top villains or just top tiers in general, they too have feelings and that they're really respectable and that relatable as well. The friendship that Gun and Gu have almost reminded me of the friendship that Zach Lee and Gun, Gun, Daniel had. Unfortunately, we aren't shown any scenarios of neither Zack or Daniel or any other allied members. Now, if you ask me personally, I just think this is probably because um, the chapter isn't really focused on them as they're getting ready for the Qian Liang arc and the final stages of Lukism. Back to the ch chapter 480, however, we come back to the scene where Eugene is stressing about Gil Bait. We later find out that everyone left the first affiliate and Gil was left alone. Um, just, you know, being depressed or stressed or, you know. Or as we know, uh, he's now called a uh, Hangyo Bake. He bro, suddenly the monster Charles Choi arrives and he asks about Jin Young Park's whereabouts. He also threatens Gyo with torture. Basement Hulk, enraged, wakes up and slams oh! Charles to the ground after being enraged. Here we see how strong Charles is though, since bro, he gets up like it was nothing. He straight up eats that shit, says, I have that shit for breakfast, bro. You gotta do more shit than that. Yo. And then we tells, uh, what's it, Basement Hulk to defend his little brother at his best, ending it off with a demonic, menacing looking grin. Now, I just want to take some time real quick, just to talk about how strong Charles Troy is because of this. Listen, okay, you guys might think I'm just yapping or bullshitting, but look, okay, he got up like it was nothing. Now, even Goo and like everyone else, they struggled with getting up. So that really shows the difference between like Charles and these types of people. Anyways, let's get back to the chapter. So the chapter's focus on Eugene again, who hasn't found anything about Hangyo except for the fact that he's been kidnapped by Charles. Eugene then gets a phone call and we see it's none other than the legend of the first generation, James Lee. He's driving his motorbike as if he's in a rush and talks to Eugene about what happened. Eugene looking helpless is then surprised to hear from James Lee that he's got evidence of Charles Troy entering the first affiliate. But um, what happened was there was a blackout that Charles caused. Anyways, now I want to talk about my opinions on um, the chapter. So personally, I believe that the chapter was pretty short. Uh, however, it's got a lot of stuff that was going on and I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, with the chapter though, it seems like there's going to be a lot of more chapters and they're going to be way longer as well now that we're heading into the Chion Liang arc. What I mainly want to talk about, however, is um, after a thorough analysis, I've decided to come to the conclusion that James Lee is not Charles Choi. Now, am I 100% about this? No, but let me explain. Now, there was a theory and it was actually pretty popular, still is popular, but people thought that James Lee and Charles Choi were the same people. So they thought James Lee was Charles Choi's second body for a while due to many small and subtle hints that could have either been just coincidences or possibly on purpose to engage the readers more. Now, I can't lie, I do see like why people believe those theories. However, um, in fact, I actually believed it too. But let me just tell you guys why now I, I'm not really like, I don't really believe that anymore. <clears throat> so... This really started um, when Charles Troy and James Lee, they were usually like in the same rooms and we couldn't really be able to see their faces much while they were in the same scenarios, such as when they were in the same room with the other geniuses or during the modeling agency arc where Charles Troy was, um, he was sitting down and James Lee stood right by him. Now I want to clarify though, two bodies, okay? So using two bodies means that when one body is unconscious, the other body is in use okay now the other body that isn't being used is completely unconscious it has no movement whatsoever it's just on the ground okay remember what i say on the ground okay anyways um back to what i was saying this means that the body is completely motionless and on the ground so neither james lee nor charles Troy 
now they were none of them were motionless okay none of them were on the ground okay they were they weren't lying down or anything i know they both were on the floor um during that uh meeting they had with gu kim and tom lee and the uh, what we think could have been uh, what's his name again eugene yeah they both were on the floor but the thing is none of them showed neither the signs that they were unconscious and also wouldn't it be awkward okay that they one of them was unconscious 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 bro I, I can't stop fumbling with these words but yeah so wouldn't it be weird okay for people like gu kim to see james lee unconscious lying down on the floor meanwhile you've got charles troy and then when charles troy was unconscious james lee would wake up okay now tell me wouldn't they clock that James Lee was uh, the second body then? Especially Eugene, who's pretty much the smartest out of all of them. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say he was the smartest, but he's a really smart fella, so yeah. Now, moving on to my second point, however. Um, Charles Troy in the modelling agency. Uh, so, in this image, he did have his eyes closed, I'm not going to lie. However, we know that eyes being closed, okay? Now, this is just common sense. Eyes being closed, that doesn't mean that one is unconscious. All right, you don't have to be unconscious just to close your eyes. You know, you can fake sleep and everything. But yeah, so Charles Troy, he still needs to be conscious to keep his body from falling, okay? Because we know that if he really is unconscious, just like what happens to Daniel Park, he's going to fall unconscious and he's going to be like, you know, lying down. However, he didn't. He was on the, you know, not the table. What? He was on the chair. But yeah, um, so it's not only this, but also we're given with more information in the latest chapter. So we see that James Lee has been spying on Charles Troy and in fact James had been monitoring every of Charles's movements ever since what happened in Chon Chiang. Now some people are going to ask, well how did James Lee find about what happened in Chon Chiang? Wasn't that in secret? Well it was the same way that Daniel Park, Daniel Park, Daniel Park found out, okay? Exactly the same way that Daniel Park found out, that's how James Lee found out. Now back to chapter 480 though, we see that James Lee had used a drone to spy on Charles Troy. Now could this be James Lee just trying to get Eugene's trust? I doubt so. It's really believable, but I heavily doubt so. So James Lee, he's really suspicious. I'm not going to lie about that. He's absolutely um, suspicious. However, it just makes no sense, okay? So guys, if any of you can tell me this, alright? Tell me if this could make sense, because personally... I doubt this makes sense. How can Charles Troy be active in James Lee's body while he crashed the car into a transformer and he also infiltrated the worker's most protected affiliate? Also, I want to say that the workers, okay, at this point, they had a lot of... But, um, they were really weak though, but I'm not going to lie. They still should have had like um, security and everything. But guess what? Charles Trey, he did take down the surveillance and he even defeated Basement Hulk and kidnapped Eugene. Not Eugene, he kidnapped Gil. But yeah, he did all of this, okay? So tell me, how can James Lee at the same time be consciously, um, you know, spying on Charles Troy? Because, you know, it just makes no sense. Uh, also, this would take a lot of time, you know, because first of all, Basement Hulk, he's not that easy. Also, it's not really that easy to infiltrate the workers. I know they're really weakened right now, but that's still the most protected affiliate. And yeah, he did cause a blackout though. But even with that, bro, that just makes them more like aware. Okay, um, Gil, he's not a dumb person, all right? So yeah, this would take a lot of time. And James Lee, he wasn't just staying idle during all of this, okay? He was doing stuff. He was actually monitoring uh, Charles Troy. We even saw him like, bro, after these events, he headed straight to Eugene, bro. So I just doubt that would make any sense. Because how could Charles Troy have kidnapped Gil so easily and so fast without being recognized while he is in his second body talking to Eugene and driving a motorbike? So I just doubt that makes sense. Now, is James Lee a good guy? I really don't know the answer to that. However, I'm starting to believe that James Lee, he's not really the second body of Charles Troy. Now, it's due to all of these points, and there's a few more that I've missed out, but I don't think I need to say them that much, really. But yeah, what I do want to say is that James Lee, 
I heavily doubt he's Charles Troy's second body now. And being the second body, it still could make sense. However, I wouldn't even really want to see that. I think a lot of people would be upset if, you know, James Lee was the second body of Charles Troy. But yeah, um, if I did miss anything out, please, you know, let me know. And in the meantime, have a great day, guys. Peace.